In this video, we're going to be sketching y equals shine of x, which we defined in the previous video as e to the x take away e to the minus x over 2. Now, if you want to actually find shine of a particular value, you can just substitute into the formula, or alternatively, on your calculator, so on the Casio class whiz, for example, uh, if you're just in the main uh, calculation window, press option, top left, OPTN, and then the top option is hyperbolic functions, and then you can do shine, cosh, or fan of a particular value, and they're inverses. Okay, so you can use your calculator to help you. Uh, you could use that as part of your table function, for example, and you could plot some points. It's really up to you. So can we use um, this setup, this uh, function here, to be able to figure out what this curve should look like? So let's see what we've got. Well, we've got y equals e to the x over 2, and then we're adding on minus y equals minus e to the minus x over 2. So what do they look like? Well, e to the x over 2 is a graph that would look like this. Okay, so that would be one half there. And then you've got y equals minus e to the minus x over 2. Well, now that would be e to the minus x, so reflected in the x-axis. So something like this, and that would be minus a half. So this is equal to y equals minus e to the minus x over 2. So, shine of x is the sum of those two functions. So, you've got one half plus minus a half, and so shine will be going through the origin. As x increases, I'm going in the positive x direction, you can see that this one gets larger and larger and larger and larger. And I'm adding on increasingly smaller negative amounts. Okay, so by the time you get to x equals 100, for example, this is incredibly large, this is incredibly small and negative. So when you add them together, this is certainly overpowering this one, but you're never quite getting to e to the x over 2. So e to the x over 2 acts effectively um, like an oblique, uh, like an asymptote, uh, like a curvilinear asymptote. So this means that the curve gets closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to that one, but never quite reaches it. As x increases in the negative direction, this one overpowers this one. And we're going to have values that are getting increasingly negative, and I'm adding on smaller and smaller and smaller positive values. So it'll get as close to this curve as you like, but never quite reach it. And so this is what shine looks like. It kind of it's not as uh, a bit more kind of like symmetric, I would have said. Comes out a little bit more, I think. Let's have the green curve coming a little bit more. Like that. Something like that. Okay. So, what can we say then for the domain and range of shine? Well, its domain allows for any real number. Okay. So, x belongs to the real numbers and of course we could write that in set notation if we wanted to like so and the range well it can reach any 
real value. So y is such that y belongs to the real numbers. Now, the curve has this non-stationary point of inflection at the origin. Okay, so the curve is going from uh, concave to convex at that point. So this is y equals shine x, and that's how we can sketch it.